Hi there guys, it's uh, Dominic here, and I've just finished with day 2 of development for the well. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, do check that out before watching this. I'll put an annotation on the screen so you can check that out first. Uh, so today I was pretty busy with uh, some other things, uh, some commitments in real life, and I didn't have too much time to work on this. I, didn't have, I certainly didn't have as much as I would have liked, uh, but I did get managed to get a decent animation system going as well as some as uh, some physics so um, I'll, I'll show you guys that right now um, I, I got some more art done for the character for his animations and so you can see he's got a running and jumping and a falling animation now and uh, yeah so here's the physics in work he has an acceleration upwards when you hold it down you can jump for so long, and if you just tap the button, it's a smaller jump. So yeah, um, and you, here you can see the layers in work. Uh, so because I put this wall in the foreground layer, it's um, it's coming up in front of the character, so I can make maybe hidden areas or you know tunnels like that, which is uh, pretty cool. But um, <coughs> so. Making these animations were kind of a pain at first, because uh, it took a lot of um, lines of code to make simple animations, and I had to put them everywhere in all sorts of causes and states. But um, I've set up a pretty good system to um, to decide uh, when to play which animation and like a way to say animations, which is great. But that took a lot of my time. Um, another thing, yeah, so I had to implement a way for it to check uh, which animation it should be playing, and that did take quite a while. Uh, that probably took up most of my time today. And uh, But making the physics wasn't too difficult, but in order to make it feel nicer and more realistic, I had to uh, make it a bit more complex, which again, ate into my time that I had. But um, now I pretty much have all the basic mechanics I need for a simple platformer. So, um, the only things I have to work on next are a bit more specific. Um, the only more general thing I have to work on is maybe making a user interface for the menus and like start and stuff like that. Um, and also implementing sounds and music. But um, the specific things I need to work on are maybe making death mechanics like spikes and uh, checkpoints. And maybe even, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do mobs and objects in the world that he can interact with. I guess maybe I should hold that off at last um, and see if I have time for it. Um, in terms of art, uh, I just need to make a couple of textures for the level. And um, if I want to do any more animations for him, then that as well. <coughs> but really, for art, I, if you read my blog, you'll know um, my website that I post in the description. You'll know that I chose this uh, well or cave setting because... That way I'll not have to do as much art, because I'm not very good at art, so um, yeah, that helps me save time. I'll just have to maybe make like five or six different textures that I can continue to reuse, and then if I have time later on, I can maybe add um, some more detailed ones for some variety in the level. Um, for sounds, I'm probably just going to take them off royalty free sites, you know, like some jumping sounds, some walking sounds, like gravel. Um, and hopefully I can do the same for music. I'm I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about music really. I might just not have music playing because I'm not sure if I can find any royalty-free music that would suit the game. And I certainly am not gonna be able to learn how to make song and put it in in time for these five days. But um, today I really kind of fell behind schedule. Um, if I really want to finish in these five days, I'm going to have to focus on making this. I'm going to have to not really do anything else because it takes quite a lot of time. I mean, it takes me quite a while to think how, how to do things because I'm new to this. So I'm doing it for the first time for most things here. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that's about all I have to show off. And if you want to read a bit more about the development process, then check out my website in the description. I do write up a bit more specifically about things like, uh, say, the jumping system or the animation system. So if that kind of stuff interests you, if you, you're interested in game development, then I would go check that out. But yeah, 
that's about it. Thanks for watching.